Hello, and welcome to the Hell in a Cell review show for Wrestling Mom's Basement. I, of course, am Patrick Young. This guy to my right is a man who I take, who I take an elbow drop for. Joe oh, Manuda. thank you. You're welcome. And to my left might be someone I might pull the table. Yes. That's what I was trying to say. Right. I got tongue tied. So I'll fill in the what you were yes. like, I figured this a see, year ago. See, right? this, is, this is why we're friends. I think. Yeah. We finish, finish each, each other's, other's worries. Sandwiches. Sand we finish each other's sandwiches. sandwiches. <laughs> that might be disgusting. <laughs> Because we finish. It's just, also a line I stole from Frozen, in which I'm, which yeah. I'm almost ashamed to admit on, on YouTube. So. No, because I'm about to get sued. I'm about to break into the course of Lego. Okay, go ahead. Ah. Uh, this, this is an interesting way to start off the hell. Legend or go. <laughs> Let him go. No. <laughs> he shouldn't have the title no anymore. anymore. No, no. <laughs> And if you don't watch it, I mess, I understand. Uh, <laughs> Morgan, uh, Morris credibility's gone. Here uh, I stand, <laughs> bored as hell. Yes, I continued it. I didn't have to, but I did. Ah, uh, like you said, it's the Hell of Soul pay per view review. And, and what a talkable, what a talkable. <laughs> Uh, talk battleable show we can have. Well, a lot to talk about. Yes. Yeah, tonight. Yes. <laughs> tonight. Yeah. This is th this is why there's two of us. Ah, <laughs> uh, if you're wondering, I'm looking at the size of Seth Rollins and Mike Yes. Uh, so I'm my laptop's back right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, the marquee matches we're supposed to deliver tonight. All I can remember see. Yes. The question is, did they? Yeah. This well, pay per views WrestleMania matches. To deliver a spectacular match like they were supposed to. Yes. So, uh, do you want to just jump straight into the match reviews? Might as well. Okay. Up first, we have Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable versus the Hypers. Right. Um, uh, it was actually a pretty good match. Mm -hmm. Um, I know the Hypers aren't necessarily known for their uh, in-ring quality. Well, namely Mojo, Mojo, but Mojo actually held his end today. Right. Uh, he put on his working boots. And Mojo and... falls too, because yeah, I, I got I got a light from him. So, uh, I thought both sides did good. There was good drama in it. Um, though there wasn't much of a story to it, but that's a but that's okay for what it was. Uh, I ended up giving it a C plus. Uh, it was a it was a solid pre show mash. Uh, had a good pace and uh there was a bunch of story to it. They focused very lightly on the hyper's dissension. Yeah. But you can see Shelton and Gable starting to gel as a team. And um they'll easily rise through SmackDown's tag division if they get the right opponents, which mm -hmm. after the open matches we'll get to the next. Yes. I'm assuming it's gonna be their next line for tag championships. Uh I still gave it a C plus. Alright, now we get to the main show. Uh in, in our first Hell in a Cell of the Night for the, Dota, for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. Hell. The New Day, who are the champions, versus the Usos. Joe, what did you think? I think that was the opening match. It, in fact, was the opening match, yes. Uh, there was great energy between the four, the four guys, as usual. Uh, Biggie and Xavier yeah. wrestled this one instead of Kofi. Uh, it was brutal. Yeah. It was an actual cell match, and they each made they each made crave use of it, and uh, they they did actually delivered something in cell that I think I could recall I've never seen before. Because certain the cell's been around for twenty years. Yeah. And there's been about thirty or forty matches now, I believe, in the cell, like thirty something. Uh, Just about yeah. There was also like some good drama with having Kofi have to watch on the outside. I had watched Biggie and Xavier get Kato's Ken handcuff and get the Kato shots in. Especially when Xavier was handcuffed around the pole, like, see that were brand new and at breaking point. Mm -hmm. Uh, they did a good job showing the Usos' aggressiveness and the New Day's guts. Uh, there's been a lot of hot potato title changes here, but this time I let it slide because it, it does show how competitive both teams are. Because going to this match, the New Day were on their fourth frame. 
and the Uso, they had tied the Usos who are on their for, who were come off their fourth reign. Now the Usos, the Usos depend on winning on their fifth reign. I didn't match that A plus. Uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll pee back on what you just left off on. Um, title swapping is okay if the matches if the matches themselves have the appearance of being competitive. Right. Um, just swapping them back and forth and sort of okay matches doesn't actually work. You need excellent matches like the New Day and the Usos have put on. Uh, I also did think this was a very good Hell in a Cell match. Uh, we, <laughs> we haven't had a Hell in a Cell match feel like this in a very long time. Yeah. Um, this felt very violent. Uh, all four guys felt more, uh, they were more aggressive, they were more vicious. You saw that side of them come out a bit more. Um, the spots also looked a hell of a lot more painful. Uh, and some sturdy unique stuff and claustrophobia, you also got a little bit too. With, uh, one, I forget which one, who's Jay. So it's Jay. He, they literally locked him in place in a corner with, the kind of with uh, kendo sticks. Uh, he did eventually get out of it, uh, but still, it was a very cool idea that just keep him there and you have to watch the whole time while your brother gets beat up. Right. Uh, I really like this match too. I, I'm very hyped about it, thanks to uh, my uh, tweet being like from Mojo, so I'm going to give this match an A+. All right. Uh, moving on next, we have Randy Orton versus Rusev. Um, I felt this match was okay. Mm. Um, I don't think it really had any favors going after uh, the Usos and New Day. Right. Uh, it was fine. Uh, I don't agree with the ending. Uh, but the overall, the action wasn't necessarily unpleasing to see. Uh, there were definite problems with the match, namely Bruce of dropping the one RKO. Mm. Uh, and Orton being able to just pistol her out of yeah. his finisher. Yeah. So uh, I ended up giving this match a C-. Uh, it, it wasn't easy for me anyway to buy into the few hatred that they were trying to pull with yeah. the few, because the few's been more on the common side. Not really on the serious side. Ah, uh, it was it was kind of like a, a crawl and pace to start the bout to. Essentially, you're calling it the Hell in a Cell. I knew you would expect that before Orton Russo, but still, uh, to me it was a lot of Orton lying around, and uh, not. There's a couple of fun counters, like the act, like the Orton Viper around into the Ackley, and then the Ackley into our tail. It was all a nice counter, but yeah. Russo just kind of lost, and now he just seems like. He's just like in the just the guy. middle of the room. Yeah. Still, yeah. Uh, you I might as well be with uh, Mike uh, Canellis now. Right. Uh, I gave it a C minus as well. Uh, okay. So next is the uh, triple threat for the United States Championship: Ty Dillinger versus Baron Corbin versus AJ Styles. AJ is the champion. Joe. What'd you I'm do? definitely glad they added Ty to the match. Uh. It did take the match to more drama that in the uh Corbin like kinda of, kinda of low on recently since the catch this is a horrible catch at ten months but still. Uh he did play the crowd well and uh it, he showed off some good presence considering he was the one to dominate the majority match. And the match is pretty much an exhibition of his ability in the beginning. Yeah. Uh he dominated early on and he, he like I say he played well with them. Uh, the match did a good job flowing, I thought, uh, everybody, the, all three got chicks to shine, so Ty just wasn't in there just to take the pin. Yes. Uh, and AJ gonna elevate both his opponents, which is, which is, he's all made a habit of doing anyway. Uh, both Corbin and Ty was better, plus he was in the match. Uh, Crown Corbin's the US champion was actually a bit of a surprise. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if this is the AJ back in the WWE Championship picture, I'm all for it at this point. Uh, Lord knows that Jinder's going to have a good match with somebody. It better be AJ. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Even if Jinder goes over, don't make me throw up, buddy. I, I think he had an okay match on SmackDown with AJ. Right. Which may also be Jinder's best. Yes. So, if he can have a good match with AJ on paper, if he can have a good match with AJ on paper, then there's a problem with Jinder. Uh, 
it was a bit of a surprise, like I said, a Crown Corbin, but it's also an intriguing move, I thought. Uh, most of them are not fully low on Corbin, like the reports were stating. They didn't cash in. Uh, giving the belt and seeing it, what you do with it is definitely pretty worse, but I think, I think Corbin's not telling them off the worst they pay off. And maybe in the long run, this might be better, because it's a slow build to the main event scene yeah. instead of a four sided bank push. Uh, I did match a B. Plus. Um, yeah, I really liked this match too. Um, I did like how the majority of the match, Corbin was in control. He was he was working on Ty, then he kept on knocking AJ down before he could actually get his big move. Uh, that eventually did fail, of course, but Corbin actually had a very long time, so he actually did look down the match. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he also ended up winning, which also solidified that he's actually a very dominant performer. Uh, Ty did add to this match. Uh, it was something more. It was something a bit more that a little bit more spice that you added to the uh, pack, the whole package. Right. Uh, and I must. And I, like Joe said, I was surprised when Corbin won. Uh, I didn't. I didn't think they were going to take the belt off of AJ. Uh, as of right now. Uh, like Joe, I think it's probably going to be an early uh, step step up for AJ into the main event team. Just so he can solidify that and hopefully take the belt off of the current champion. Because uh, it's clear that somebody's, for some reason, out of name, but it's... Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so I, I ended up giving this match a big. Because a part of the beginning did drag on a little bit. Uh-huh. My, own, my own complaint was sometimes the beatdown Corbin put on the two did sort of going a little bit too far. After that has more than Corbin. Yeah. Uh, however, I did get why they did it. It's just... Right. It's, st- it's still sort of had them that had a lull right in that middle part. Uh, up next, Natalia versus Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Uh, it was a good match. Uh, clearly not their NXT level stuff, yeah. but better than the main roster stuff they had last year where everything was about Rick Flair, Bret Hart, and Dean Brook. So it's better than that. Uh, N- Natalia went to the try and true psychology by working on Charlotte's knee throughout the match. Uh, Charlotte said, the, the, the cell and the woman, I just cracked up, which you can just hear them out loud. It's every woman, it's not just these two. Uh, uh, but oh, for a Charlotte. And also, very long parts of tonight, Detroit just felt silent. Right, so that's. That, a, that's how it came off in TV, at least. So that also added yeah. to the wellness. Of her hearing the woman sell. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte did sell good with her emotion, though. Uh, and then, much like SummerSlam, Natalia was made to look like a uh, dangerous force. Again, uh, she won, Charlotte won my D2 because Charlotte, Natalia was on me. Then Natalia uh, took out her knee after the, after the match with the chair. Uh, there wasn't a lot of highlights, but they, they did tell a solid story, I thought. And the ending was anticlimactic. I like the role which is a count DQ. Yeah. On pay per Uh but I think this is going to just up their next smash, which will have more of a sword to it, but SmackDown they have a lot of time to put a sword together for these yeah. two. So overall I get the match to be mice. Um uh, yeah, this match was okay to me. Um it definitely wasn't their best in their series. Uh, you'd have to go to NXT for that. Um Also, I sort of, I sort of thought that the that Natalia working the knee meant Charlotte was gonna win, and that Carmella would cash in. I wanted Charlotte to win, but I sure saw them want that. Yeah, I, 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 I wasn't necessarily liking that idea. However, I did get a tweet from Carmella, right? Just stating that comment in a tweet. Uh, uh but I, did, I don't mind Natalia winning, yeah. but or hold on. Uh, there were parts of that match that I that I found dull. Almost. Um, I I I got the story, um, but it just felt like it, the match didn't come up off. Of, like they told that story of Maddie just constantly beating that her leg, but it didn't necessarily felt like it come, came back up for me. Uh, just to add that little, little wow factor to the match, uh, I ended up only giving it a C minus. Uh, up next, Jin. Oh, wait. 
Uh, Max match. Person. WWE Championship match. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Jinder Mahal. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll rip this off like a band-aid. Jinder Mahal won. Uh, yeah, uh, Clean. Jinder appears to be able to only work one type of match. Uh, one with and a... And he doesn't even still Brandon Pace full of wrestles. Uh, there wasn't enough creativity here, clearly. It featured Singh Brothers, and lots of the same stuff we always do with them. Uh, repeatedly throughout Jinder's pay-per-views. Uh, Nakamura's Hell Chase hasn't been nearly as fun as it should be. Uh, the fuse has been dry. Um, there were a few spots of excitement, but Nakamura had to kill Sasha. Yeah. So there was a And the referee didn't, didn't seem like he was all distracted that long either. No. Uh... I felt like as soon as he hit it, the ref turned around and started running back to, towards the ring. So, all that at F. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, same here. Uh, it, it sort of ended Nakamura's made that push abruptly. Uh, the action was literally dominated by Jinder, and you know his offense is, is rather boring. Uh, Russ Hold City, bitch as sometimes I like to call it. Actually, I just came with that term now. Uh, uh, but, but still, it, it, it still left a sour taste in my mouth. Alright. Up next, Bobby Roode versus Don Ziggler. Uh, for me, it was a fine match. Um, I am surprised with the ending. Uh, you surprised Bobby won? Uh, no, not, oh. I'm not surprised Bobby won. I'm not surprised he won by pinfall either because he doesn't really have a submission. Uh, but I'm surprised that he won by roll up. And hook in the ties. And hook in the ties. Uh, the spot was they sort of rolled each other up back and forth until Bobby had like a greater hold on his tights and mm. then won the match. Um, this is obviously a continuation of their feud. This is only the beginning, it's not the end. Uh, it, it was fine to me. It, it was okay. Um, uh, I guess you really... I'm not, maybe they're just sort of feeling each other out. Maybe they'll have their chemistry later. Uh, kind of reminds me of Nuff Boring Nuff. Yeah. It, they it, had better match on SmackDown. Yeah. Oh. It, it was fine. Uh, maybe the crowd being silent for it didn't necessarily help it either. Uh, but I ended up giving it a sneak. Uh, I think a lot of also has to do with uh, Ziggler's gimmick of uh, lack of a gimmick. Yes. Does it help him in that regard? Because he's going to be a more energetic performer, but his whole thing has been the fans building up the entrances. So he's toning down his own ring work. I think, I think that's part of it. Yes. Uh, he and Bobby did pull on a decent match, though. But the, it hit high points at the end of the belt. Uh, what is that? Dolph kicked a little more energetic, but I think it has more to do with Dolph's gimmick. Uh, Bobby getting the win with uh, the with a classic kill move though might lead to uh, shifting his character too because he is a classic kill though yeah, with, with his gimmick. He should, yeah, he should be. <laughs> so that that was one of the few more worth few takeaways from the from this match. I too need to see. And I'll next. I don't know. I guess it, it's my turn. Yeah. Uh, next is our main event. Uh, Hell in a Cell. Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens. False count anywhere. False count anywhere. Hell in a cell. Ah. Uh, like I say, I'm more for the highlights of this match, too. Uh, let's see. Shane dive off the security barrier, barricade land by clothesline. Ah. Uh, Shane misses you. Sorry, press. I'm so surprised you could do. Yeah. Uh, Owens powerbomb Shane on the ring steps. Owens was a cannibal with the ring apron. For the, for the table, uh... There, there was a lot that happened in this match. Yeah, Shane had... A lot of what you just said, I actually forgot about until this very moment. Shane had coast to coast. Ben and Trash came over to Kevin's body. Uh, Kevin smashed Shane's groin into the cell door. So, I think he's staying at three kids. Uh... A side note, I don't have this in my highlights. Shane's youngest son, I believe, or middle son, no soul, Kevin Owens. Don't want Shane's fucking taunt. Uh, Shane. Shane the old Kevin Owens with a Russian lace on the roof of the cell. 
KO powerbomb Shane on the roof. Uh, then uh, Shane kicked, they were, Owens climbed down, Shane climbed back down, Shane kicked Owens off the side to sell. Threw an announce table, but he wasn't done there. He probably was on the, the main commentary table, wasn't going to climb on top. And uh, in clear view, you could see somebody pull Owens off the table. I'm yeah. not sure who, because it could have been a or something. Yeah, right when As Shane, Shane dies, just off, jumped off. For an elbow, but it turned out to be Sam Zayn. The same as they pushed the pair of mags out of the way and the refs and threw my field down to him down. Yeah. Actually, I was put up a win. Uh, I like the Orton Rusev match. That you can feel the hate burn from the screen here. Uh, the two of them versus everything to destroy each other. KO is sell. <laughs> he was furious. Prior, the yeah. prior that he is. Uh, Shane was his usual fearless daredevil self. Uh, there's an uncomfortable amount of danger to create the suspense. Uh, but it, it's also going to be like a, I guess like a, a movie or a theater work. One of those just highlights. Because there's a lot of images and moments to remember from this match. Yeah. Uh, Sammy's appearance is a stutter too. As it appears the ultimate baby face. Turn heel to save his moral enemy, but also his lifelong best friend. Uh, the next stage is sort of a flop. Depend on how good Sammy is as playing as a heel. Yeah. But they're, they're sat down rather disappointable up here for some mighty interesting uh, moments ahead. Uh, the role, this is the first time I've ever done this for the Hell in Cell paper room. All the Cell matches go A. Plus. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, that, it should be a very interesting time going forward with Sami Zayn as a heel. Uh, not not the uh, eternal baby face I would have said needed to heal. Heel turn. Uh, well, so, he, he clearly was going on in a face yeah, smack um, uh, At least this way he's in a main event level storyline. Exactly. Uh, uh, it, it will be interesting to see how Sami Zayn as a heel goes forward. Yeah, because uh, that may flop. However, getting to this match specifically, uh, there were there were a lot of things that happened in this match. Uh, a lot a lot of things. A lot of things that added very well to the match. This match was very good. Uh, I agree with Joe wholeheartedly. Both Hell in a Cell matches on this pay-per-view and the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view get an A-plus. Uh, I'm not sure if I actually gave an A-plus to any other Hell in a Cell. 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 The end of the error match. Yeah. Between Ante and Triple H. Even that was it. As much of a cell match as these were. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe Brock and... Brock and Taker, Brock maybe. Taker, From maybe? 2015, maybe. But it may have just been like an A-. A-, a yeah. Like uh, yeah, however, the, these two Hell in Cell matches felt like Hell in Cell matches. They didn't feel like a street fight that happened to be inside of the steel structure. And ironically, they both were street fight attached to it. Though. Yeah. Clearly, with the instructions they knew they used on the weapons. And Shane that Owens was literally... Literally fighting ev everywhere and anywhere. Yeah. Um, under the cell, around the cell, above the cell. Now, my grade might not have been as high, but I'm all, it will have been the A's. I might not have been a perfect score if they didn't use the cell in the end. Because yeah. they would just make sure with a house cell decoration. It was still better than A's, but maybe not A+. Plus. So they found that they used the cell for an end. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, so I'm actually happy to see that they they realize what a hell in a cell match is. Hey, and you still do that in PG. Huh? Yeah, you can. There wasn't any blood. No. Uh, the only blood I've actually seen was a cut on Doc Ziggler's ear. Yeah. And that wasn't in the cell. But that wasn't in a hell in a cell match. So. The last A plus I might actually give in a hell in a cell is Undertaker and Edge. Yeah. Ah. Uh, then uh. Hey, overall. What the first time you uh, my overall for the pay per view was a D. Uh, there was really one negative spot in the show I'm, that I am negative about. Um, however, the, I felt the rest of the show was either fine, uh, fine or serviceable, all the way to amazing. Um, the Hell Cell matches were the highlights of the show, I knew that going in, and thankfully they delivered in spades. Uh, I took it to the uh, Clearly, we were on the same page tonight, minus the women's match and the 
and one grade below for you on the triple threat match. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, uh, yeah, the, the one big negative will normally be a big negative. However, it wasn't the main event. Right. Uh, because it's the day championship, it said that should be the main negative. But the problem with that is the day championship hasn't been the main event championship on SmackDown since AJ held the day championship, since AJ held it. So, yeah. Since AJ and Cena have a few more, the United States has been the main championship and the tacky title, so <laughs> so they deliver. That is true. The, 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 so, for all oh, I said earlier tonight, for all intents and purposes, that, that right now both main championships for me are exactly the same. <laughs> non existent. Uh, uh, but yeah, everyone all the show strong, minus the one negative. And that was actually good. If Jinder actually knew how to put together. A different kind of match. Yeah, it might be a higher grade, but it is a B. It was only number two. The two main matches did deliver. Well, they were so so. Actually, yeah. might be over delivered. Uh, I think they both went an hour. Really combined. <laughs> well, Shayna Owens started ten fifty. Yeah, and Perry on the uh, about like thirty. So, so that one's a, that one at least. Yeah, and I think I think they were, and I think the other one. This is a new day. Got right at eight twenty five. So about so yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it was a good show. Uh, we'll be back with pay review in two weeks for TLC. Mm -hmm. Whereas right now we have Oscar's debut. I'm not sure if she's wrestling. Uh, and uh, Alexa, and Alexa, Alexa James. James. I mean Alexa Bliss. Yeah, they're the ones. Mickey I James can't for see one of Yeah, and clearly more likely the show reunion. So, uh, Don't know also be announced. Uh, yes. But we'll see you in two weeks for that, and then back to the usual Friday. Yep. Happy Rusev Day. Okay.